Hey guys, this is the Editor Editor. I don't know if you guys remember, but about a week ago or so, I don't really remember how long ago it was, um, I uploaded a video on a glitch on this game where you ram a scrawny nag into the side of a boat to duplicate carcasses, essentially. In that video, I missed some things I could have elaborated on better, and I got a lot of comments on that video of people getting frustrated with it. To be honest, this glitch can be quite a piece of work sometimes, but hopefully in this video, you'll be able to understand it more and be able to more easily do it. If you guys have never seen this glitch before, I'll start from step one all the way to the end so you guys know how to do this. The founder of this glitch's YouTube name is NZ420Glitcher. His link will be in the description. So basically step number one is you're going to want to get a scrawny nag and how you get this is you're going to have to go to a stable and you're going to have to discard a saddle off of your horse. Now if you have a really good saddle on your horse and you don't want to get rid of it, you have to buy like a cheap one. The cheapest one is around $39. I'm demonstrating it right here in the clip playing right now. What you have to do is you have to buy the cheap saddle. Once you buy the cheap saddle, you want to equip it onto your horse and then discard it and then your horse should no longer have a saddle now when after you discard it your horse like visually will still have a saddle but you can just back out of the menu and it won't have it there and your horses all your horses have to not have a saddle on it in the last video I said that your, your horses have to not have a single saddle on it which is definitely not true please don't sell all your saddles or anything you can just buy the cheap one equip it and discard it and then it's gone. You have to do this to all your horses too, unfortunately. So if you have more than one, you might have to be paying a heavy chunk of change. But if you guys only have one, it's not really that bad. After you guys have your scrawny nag, to test if you have it, you just whistle for your horse. And at the top left, it should say that there is no horses available. You have a scrawny nag coming. And once it gets there, you guys want to find an animal of your choosing. Um, the best animal is obviously the three-star cougar, which sells for $13.50, I think, for a perfect. I used a two-star fox in this video. Don't do what I did because you will not be making, like, much money at all. It will not be worth it whatsoever. But if you guys can get a hold of a three-star cougar, this will work way better for you. Essentially, once you get a hold of this animal that you're going to be duping, you're going to want to put it on the back of your scrawny nag, and then you're going to want to go to St. Denis. Now, to get to St. Denis, you guys don't have to ride all the way there. You guys can just simply fast travel. But you can't fast travel with your horse right next to you because if you do that, then the three-star animal that you have on your horse will turn into a one-star. So how to bypass that is you guys just want to look at your scrawny nag, tell it to flee, and once the symbol of the horse on your mini-map goes away, then you are good to fast travel to St. Denis. And then once you get there, you can whistle for it and you will still have the three-star animal on your horse. Once you're in St. Denis, you guys want to make your way to this spot on the map. Um, there is a boat here that you're going to be ramming into essentially and killing your horse over and over. And how you're going to be doing this is you're going to just take the route that I'm doing right here, go around, like, run up, go around this pole, and just ram your horse's head into it. Now, the first time you do this while there's no horse carcasses here, your animal should just disappear. That's good. That's what's supposed to happen. Once that happens, you guys just want to whistle for your horse again and don't get too far away from the spot because you guys want that one horse carcass to still be there. For me, every single time that I ram my horse into this without another horse carcass there, the animal on the back of my horse would just disappear. But if there was at least one horse carcass there while I was doing it, my animal would not disappear. After you guys get that out of the way, you want to ram into the boat again with the horse carcass there and then the animal should fall off and be dead or it should fall off off and be alive and you're able to shoot it or it should fall off and be alive and you're not able to shoot it if it falls off and it's alive and you're able to shoot it you can just shoot it in the head and it'll still be fine I, I shot mine in the head with a pistol and it was still a two-star if it's alive and it you can't shoot it you can use the scrawny nag to just trample it it will still keep the same quality It'll just be a little bit more tricky to get to if it starts floating out in the water. You can just swim and then kind of push it towards the coast. You'll be able to just pick it up. Now that I've covered all three of the possibilities that can happen here, you guys want to carry the carcass onto this ramp. Now in the last video, I showed me putting it like at the bottom of the ramp, near the bottom. You guys want to push it all the way, like almost at the top of the ramp, not at the bottom. Um because if you push it there then it's least likely for your animals to despawn and you guys don't want to put them in a big pile don't put them in a pile like separate them a good bit just put them like side by side and that should help out a little bit with them despawning now I had a lot of people in the comments telling me that they were getting wanted levels and stuff doing this for animal cruelty uh, what you guys want to do to try to avoid that is stand at this pole for a little bit like near your animals that you've duped. After you stand there for a second, all the horse carcasses should just despawn. But for me, I had to do the first step again, where you ram into the boat and then the animal despawns. After you get that out of the way, then you can start doing it. I, I recommend like after you get about three or four dead horses right here, you go ahead and go stand at that pole and refresh that spot because you guys really don't want to get animal cruelty and have the cops shooting at you because then you're pretty much SOL. 
and um, I recommend selling once you get around four or five of these on the ramp because you guys don't want to have like 10 of them up there and then die like I did right here then you'll lose everything you'll have to go get an animal again and all the duped ones won't be there so there is quite a lot of things that can happen to mess this up but I really hope that this video right here helped you guys avoid those things that happen in this like such as dying by getting trampled or getting caught by the police or your animals being alive and not being able to shoot it I didn't know that you could simply just trample it and it still be the same quality I had a commenter on the last video tell me about that if you guys have already seen this glitch I apologize that I'm uploading another video on on it it's just I really wanted to get some things out of the way because a lot of people were getting really frustrated with this and uh, I just felt bad for them it's not as hard as people make it out to be but it's not very easy I recommend just doing the last glitch that I posted yesterday if you guys want an easier glitch but this one right here isn't that hard it's just there's a lot of things that can screw it up that's the biggest problem with it but yeah like I said guys the founder of this glitch will be in the description and that's pretty much it for me the channel has been doing extremely well lately thank you guys for all the support and stuff I've even had people message me on PlayStation telling me they like the videos and stuff thank you guys for that if you guys want to add me on PlayStation it's post baloney it's P O S T B O L O G N A there you go you can add me message me whatever I don't really get on there too much the only time I get on PlayStation is to get footage from my videos I used to play Red Dead 2 a lot when it first came out, but I really don't play it too much anymore. And GTA 5, I don't play that on the PS4. I play that on my PC. But whenever a glitch comes out that doesn't work on PC, I get the footage on my PS4. That's it for the video. If you guys like this video, give it a like. If you dislike this video, give it a dislike. If you guys want to see more videos like this, like Red Dead Online Solo Money Glitches or GTA Online Solo Money Glitches, go ahead and hit the sub button and you will see more. I really like making videos on Red Dead. I just, I don't know, I like playing Red Dead. I ain't played it in so long. Red Dead Redemption 2 has like one of the best stories I've ever played on any video game. That's it for me. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.